Hey guys, in the today's video I'm going to show you how to install local WP in your uh, Ubuntu base system and then I show you how you can create easily uh, a project. Okay, um, well this time I decided to use this kind of this kind of tool uh, because I have a freshly installed Linux Mint which is a Ubuntu base like I said in the beginning uh, system and I don't have a PHP, I don't have absolutely nothing in this in this machine, okay? What I have is uh, Node.js, obviously, but I don't have a PHP, Nginx, or MySQL installed in my system, okay? So what I want to test is, uh, I want to found a tool which it's going to be easy to create a WordPress project, okay? And I can use it for my backend, okay? Because the idea of my case is that I use a WordPress like a API, like just a backend, okay, which doesn't need to know nothing about the front end, okay, and the front end we uh, have with uh, uh, Vue.js, okay. So in this case, I was thinking that I prefer to install something that is going to be much more quickly and much more efficient, and because you know we have to be honest here and say that you know the time is money, okay. So uh, the first first thing that I found actually, and the first thing that I tried and I found quite uh, quite helpful, was uh, the local WP. Well, they just call it local, okay? But you know, local could be uh, could mean many stuff. So if you call it local WP like me, probably it's not a big problem. I don't know. If not, just correct me down in the comment, okay? So in the website you can download. Uh, the version for your system okay you can choose windows or you can choose mac or like in our case we uh we make for uh, debian okay for debian system debian based uh linux distributions okay uh right i'm not going in this process because i don't want to spend uh your time i'm just going directly on my download folder okay and in my download folder i just start the application okay uh, because we have uh, uh, a file which is a DA, uh, DAB, okay, uh, it's going to open directly our installer, okay. So if your case is that your your system is freshly installed, okay, so you don't have some of the packages, this one is going to send you uh, orange. Well, orange is my case with my team, but it's going to send you a message here with you know a different kind of background. Uh, which is saying that you have some dependency just click the details copy the dependency or just open your terminal and just in install this dependency you know you just have to type uh sudo apt install or you can uh, make it with the sudo apt get install and then type the first dependency the second dependency the third dependency depending how depend how how many they are okay and just install it okay in our case because i done it already so i that's the second time that i do it and i do it for you uh, so we just say install the package, okay? Here you have to type uh, your password. Okay, and it's going to start the installation process. Uh, the first time when I tried it, it was not taking more than a, um, I don't know, probably two minutes, something like this, okay? But if needed, I just pause the video and then we're coming back. As you can see, it's not needed because it's quite fast. So this one is going to send us uh, a message that uh, is successfully installed. Okay, some in some time, in some some point. There we go. That's it. Okay, so we can close here, and let's go to search for our application because it's a GUI application. We can do it directly for our menu, and you're just uh, looking for local. Okay, there we go. We have the application here, local. Let's go and open it and see what's happening in this application. Okay, like I said, uh, I was working before, so I uh, passed from the process, uh, you know, to come into here, but you're going to have some additional steps that it's going to ask you that you want to register. And remember that if you don't want to register, you just uh, want to um, 
you just want to create the, the websites like me, for example, I just don't want to register it before that I try the, the tool. Okay. Probably now it's a good time that I, I register it, you know, but in my case, I just want to test it. Okay. So if for you is the first time you're going to get a green window with uh, this message. So you just have, uh, you know, a button here to close so you can close the window and then uh, it's going to present you with this window here. Okay. And this window here, uh, we're going to create our, uh, well, we're going to create our machines and everything. This one is which I, uh, the machine, well, the machine, the website, I keep calling it machine like it's a virtual machine, but no, that's the website that we create first. Okay. So mm, we want to be able to create another one. So this one, I think that I stopped. No, I'm not thinking actually I stop it. And you can see that you can start the site, but we don't want to do this. What we want to do is that we want to create a new site. So you can see how is the process here. So from here, uh, we just click open it. Let's go to make it in the full window. And it's going to ask for a question. Well, question, a name of our project. So let's go to say that you want to call it, uh, I don't know. WP uh, test up all together. Okay. The advanced setting here, you can put, um, you can put the name of your domain, which is going to be the domain in your local machine. Don't worry. That's uh, going uh, in your host list. Okay. So this, for example, this, this in your host list is going to be equal to your local host. Okay. But it's just mapping to uh, kind of domain that you can build like this and that's easy for you when you go in the production. Okay. So in, in our case, for example, we can do it that we want that that's going to be an API. I guess we just type the API, uh, WP test app, which we call it. We're not very original with the name. So if you are on my channel for longer, you know that. Okay. And that's, uh, that's the folder. Okay. Actually, when we install the application, it's going to make for you uh, local site sites, and then, uh, you know, inside is going to be all your projects. Okay. But if you, if you want, you can actually change for another one, but I, for the moment, I just leave it as it is. Okay. And then, uh, from here, I think that you can choose that you want some team blueprint. I understand there is a team, but um, correct me if I'm wrong down in the description. Okay. Uh, I'm leave it as it is without change these param params here. And then I say, uh, continue. Let's say invalid domain, uh, is not valid local domain. Please check. Okay. There was a space. Okay. Here was a space. Okay. Uh, now it should work. Uh, we leave everything, uh, same like before. There we go. We created now, uh, let's go on to decide what kind of PHP version we want. Actually, uh, we're going to use the stable version, which is uh, 7.3.5. Okay. If you don't want to do this, you don't need to do this. You just go from here and you, you good to go uh, because as you can see that actually, you know, what? <laughs> that's what we exactly want. Okay. But if you want to change it, you just go in the custom and from here you can say, okay, I want to eight. Okay. I want to cut in H here. Uh, then the server, you can say, well, Apache, that's my thing. My thing is Apache. You can change from here. Okay. And the database, well, actually you don't have a big choice. Yeah. You can go down there if you want, but you can stay around here. So, uh, in our case, we say, let's go with the, uh, you know, the default. Then continue. Then say, uh, let's go to put our user, Alex, which it's going to be me and password, uh, very secret password. And then some email, but we don't change this email and add the site. It's going to create for us our, uh, WP test app. Okay. Permissions. Okay. You need it. Uh, type your, your, uh, secret password then again. Okay. Permission is going to ask you for one more permission because uh, it's going to create a, you know, a WordPress site in your system. So it's obviously want to ask you for permissions because uh, you know, it's uh, some, uh, folder system there. We don't have permissions to write in it. Uh, let's go and see. 
stop the site we don't want it because we just created now uh, you're going to open the site uh, in live let's let's do this actually okay so here we go now uh, we have our website here as you can see is the api wp test app logo and it's that's amazing that's amazing because from here we can start developing and you know using uh, this for our backend obviously we not do this and we're going to put some prefixes but you know for the moment it is perfect okay uh let's go to c uh, let's go to c we, we you can actually you can open the database just from here and it's going to do for you like uh mysql well it's a uh, uh if you remember a long time ago there was a php i don't know it, it it was you know a management for your um sql in the browser okay but it, that's actually the same you know you just can create your tables from here you can create uh your rows from here you can create the information you can you know hard code some information in your database okay but you can do it as you can see you can do it just from here open the bin okay that's amazing we have a tools uh, in the tools you have some uh, mailing tools and live links and stuff like this one that we're not uh, going to talk about now and now for the part of you the uh, your developers and you're around here probably all of you okay but if you're not all of you developers uh well i think the interview here you're fine you can start to you know manipulate and changing your team if you're developers and here's coming uh, a fun part for you uh, let's open the terminal in our case just to navigate around our system and we say let's go to cd in the local do you remember the name that's the name okay you just start to type local then press tab and it's going to auto populate then enter in this file uh, well, this file this directory and you say uh if you say ls you're going to see a list of folders that you have in this directory and we have just our wp test app okay so what we can do is that we can cd in wp test app and then we can say code and we can open we can open our code editor okay that's it you in your code editor then you have the uh the app here and now I'm not very good in WordPress and it's a long time that I'm not working with the WordPress. Okay. But you know, I remember the, uh, the ecosystem and near how was it? And, and I can assume that your, uh, your, you know, index file where you have all this, where you have all this beauty. Okay. It's going to be your team. Okay. And in our case, our team is, you can found it here. Okay. If you go, let's go on admin. Let's go admin. We have admin, guys. We have admins. <laughs> the word, the famous WordPress admin. Okay. So here you say uh, your, you know, uh, nickname, name. Okay, username. Okay, and then your password. The password that you just put it. There we go. Logging to the to the admin and from here save. No, we don't want to save it. Okay. From here you can go in appearance. Then you go in theme. And when you go in theme, you see that this one is uh, it's activate. Okay. And it's a uh, twenty one uh, twenty dash dot dot well, line one. Yeah, you understand what I want to say. So you go here and that's the our guy okay so here if you found the index obviously the index it's you um we have inside in the index yep we have uh oh php obviously because it's index php and we have well, obviously i know that you know this php what we have here is that we have the list of our uh posts if we have some post uh and then you know some content if we have as well in uh the templates content okay for the moment we're not going to mess around here actually yeah we can mess we can leave just the footer and let's go and say that we can delete into here uh, no actually sorry we don't we cannot delete into here because the footer we say that we're going to keep it but we want a little bit html inside so we say let's go to uh, close this guy and down there let's come to put one h1 which is going to be oh not down there obviously you, you want between 
uh, the head in the footer and here we can put our test. You know, it's just silly uh, example just to show you how, how this works, okay? So let's go to um, back in our, there we go. So we have a footer, that's the, the footer that we just leave it there, okay? We have a beautiful website as you can see and you can remove this one from that me, but we're not doing now. And you have the test here, okay? So from here you can start and playing, you know, with uh, the PHPs and, 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 you know, the parts which return, you know, uh, the views and start, you, you can create it as well your API from here. So it's, you know, it is good idea to know where you can uh, found the project and how you can manipulate the project from inside, okay? Well, guys, uh, thank you. Uh, well, I hope so that was helpful for you. And uh, it's like I said, again, th this video is not just for the developers. That's just a video for everyone who wants to be able to install WordPress very quickly in, in the local system. And, and if it's not using like, you know, Mac or WordPress, a uh, WordPress, oh, sorry. If it's not using Mac or window uh, in Linux machine, you are good to go as well with those kind of this. Okay. It's a free. It's a free tool, okay? And that's amazing. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you uh, so much that you're still watching my videos. I know there was a long time that I'm not uh, producing absolutely nothing. I was quite busy, okay? But I hope so that I'm going to be around here. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.